Chapter 6, The Fall. Where are you? That's not you. Alright, I can't... I can't see you. Oh, oh there you are. Okay. That's good. Are we going to that place where Wheatley said was closed off years ago? Sorry about that. Good, that's still working. Hey, just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into What, just because you've been so nice to me over the years? I don't think so, GLaDOS, I don't think so. Oh no! Oh! Oh! That had to hurt. I had to hurt just a little bit. Okay, so where where are we? Oh, who's a bird? I like that bird. He's a very cool bird. Oh, he's got GLaDOS? Oh, right, I didn't even... Oh, no. Okay, so a bird's flew off with GLaDOS. We're in some weird place. And I don't know. Oh, is that over there? Okay. I don't know where... I thought that was the end of the game, but apparently not. It looks old down here. Very old. Is that a portal or what? Who? Who? Um. This way. Oh no, that's where it just came from. Oh, right, okay. Oh no. A little bit up there. It does look very old down here, so I think it is the thing Wheatley was talking about. And he said it was. Oh, I've just fell off here. He said it goes down for miles. All shut. All cut off years ago or something like that, he said. All sealed off, I think it was. What's up here? That's a what? Um, any other surfaces? And here? Ah. Oh. This way. I'm gonna go. This way seems the more likable option. It seems like it wants me to go down here. I've got people shouting "Go down here!" by them signs. Oh, it's dark. Oh, I don't like it down here. It's scary. Are we in like a cave? Is this what it is? Like a massive cave? Because these are. That's a. It's a cave walls, isn't it? Okay. Okay. It's like a vault door. Vault 3. It's not really called vault 3. It's got a countdown. Okay, so there's one over there. Can I put a portal in there? No. Go on there. Why is that not? There we go. There we go. And there's a button here. Ah, there is. Tidy. Oh, you bugger. Oh. Okay. Okay. This. This seems pretty big. Oh. I can't see what's there black. It's going to be even worse on YouTube, because I can't, I can't even see. Can I... 
Oh, there we go. Like all that for all all this. Okay, okay. Just let me all this for that. Oh. Okay, so what what we're gonna be doing here? Like all tests. Is that what it's gonna be? Or is it just like an escape thing? Or is it gonna be all like test chambers? I'm guessing there's gonna be a new character. Because it's not gonna be GLaDOS, is it? It's, I, d uh, I wouldn't think it would be Wheatley. Danger. You might drown. And lose the bottom half of your body by that picture. Is it an elevator? It's an elevator. I can hear things in the water. Or is that just the uh, sparks of electricity going? Where do I? Where do I go? Oh? I want to check what's down there. It's not even open. Screw it, we'll go this way! Let, let me through, please. Ah, there we go. Ooh! Hello! Cave? Cave Johnson. Oh. Me! Carolyn. Ah! Rest assured, she has transferred your honorary into the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Free as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. You just said she was free. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enriched hemispheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre recorded messages. Oh, so these are, right, okay, so these are pre recorded from years ago. When he used to own the place your before Gladys. Oh, that's a... Hello, Cave. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just the follow the blue line on the floor. Cave Johnson. To be injected with Shower Curtain DNA. Salesman. I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Finding an army of mantis men. Pick up a Features right here line. and under You'll the desk. The test uh, best new science company, science of the ah. Shower. You was a shower curtain salesman. Very interesting. Looks very posh. It looks very pro posh. Very posh down here. This is posh science. Welcome everyone to posh. Aperture Science Laboratories. As a, as a posh person would, would say. It's a long way up. Um... Okay. I get it. I get it already. We're gonna jump over to that. Oh, when you go down. What what did I put? Orange. See, look at this. Ah, memorize your surroundings, people. Oh nice. Nicely done. Or as old you would say, nicely done. Pump station alpha. Can I? Oh, what's open? Blue. Why is it all blue? Chemical hazards. Oh, this will probably be quite a long episode. I think. I'm thinking. Probably be the longest episode. I think. They say great science is built on the shoulders oh, of giants. Oh, old elevator? Not here. 
At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Ooh, ooh, we're going up. Ah, of course. We're going down in the last ones, but now we're making our way up back to the top. Back to top. I'm going to cough. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Very unprofessional of me. But I don't, I don't have a drink and I should have got one. Oh, you're blinding me. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. Repulsion gel. gel. Not part of the control group, by the way. Which we obviously you know because it means that I'm gonna caught one and we had to use it in that. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Oh. Broke every bone in his leg. Oh, that's tragic, but informative, or so I'm told. So you're told. He seems nice, kid. He doesn't seem like Glados, where she's very. Evil, and she, you know, she. One minute she's nice to you, the next minute she's very. She's well, she's not a nice person, is she? But you see, he seems alright. He seems. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. Mm. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. You own the place. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all day. Exactly. Day. You tell them, Cave. This next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. I'm itching my leg. Layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel to your terms. bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Well, that's not very nice, is it, Cave? So, as I was saying, he seems nice, but he doesn't seem like the type of person you'd really want to hang around with. You wouldn't be safe with him, really, would you? I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, right, okay. Who? Oh! 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 Oh. It's down there. I just backed right at the start or something. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. What'd that do? It done something. Oh, right, okay, okay. That's cool, that's cool. It's cool, it's good. Who? Ah, right, okay. Oh. Oh, that stuff's fun. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Right. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. Oh. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, oh. but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Okay, I, di I didn't really get covered in it, though, did I? It was, it was, it was my feet that touched it. It wasn't anything else. Why does it seem so long ago that I was talking to Wheatley? So I'm guessing I've got to make my way back to the normal laboratories. The normal Aperture Science Laboratories. All these science to get to Wheatley. Asbestos, by the and way. Keeps out the rats. kill them, I guess. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, your lab... Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know how much old shell is. I'm guessing she's 20s, 30s, somewhere around there. She's quite hot, shell. I'll give her that. Oh! I like your style. Thank you! I'm so expensive. Good one. Why can't I? Oh, I don't need to press it anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I keep missing it. Just cover this place with the stuff. I don't know, I'm just putting it everywhere, really. Okay, yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Stop it now. Right, can we get up there? No. 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 Yeah. 
Oh, 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 I didn't even notice this, but okay. Ah, right, okay, can we jump? Oh! Ah, oh, I need some up here. Thank you! I'm guessing I'm gonna need some here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try something here. There we go! Nice! That stuff is very fun. Okay. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Ah. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Okay. I think we'll do one more test chamber. And then we'll cut this episode off. I like to put long episodes of Portal up. I don't know why, I just, I, I like to. But I get through it pretty quick, you know, I'm trying to keep it as me- I don't really like episodes that go, you know, as long as it's around the 30 minute mark. That's, that's now, quite good. if you're good. part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if right. it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Okay. He's not a very safe person, is he? Okay, that stops that. Okay. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. Who? <laughs> Nicely done. I'm telling him, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. What? Entirely. Well, that doesn't make us feel very safe, really. Do both of yourselves a if I tell you that. Oh. that handsome devil go about his business. He's not very safety conscious, is he? Not at all. Is this going to work? No, of course it's not. Oh, right, okay, so I need that on... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got this, we got this, we got this. Nice. Um. Right, okay. Whoop! <laughs> Okay then, that's never happened before. <laughs> that that wasn't how that that wasn't meant to go down like that. No, not at all. We'll try it again. Was it blue? Okay, I'll put blue. There we go. That's better. All right. Who? If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between. Sorry. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. Uh, I'm no psychiatrist, but a couple of the who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or... Oh, uh, no. no sir, it's over that. It's... The world, son. Come here. Like oh! Possibly use work, no. Um, come here. Oh, come here. There we go. Ooh, you're a crafty bugger, aren't you? Clean you off. Um, put you on there. Yeah, put you on there. Put some orange stuff here. Jump up here. Orange there. Oh no. Orange there. Blue up here. Right, we're probably going to cut this off now, I think. Yeah, we're going to cut this off. After he talks. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Science test subject, subject if you're doing box. <laughs> yes, you. Box your stop. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Okay, thanks for watching this episode, people. And we'll continue through Aperture Science 
Innovators. That's what it's called. And the next episode. <laughs>